that. They're amazing. Uh, I think uh, Mojo, Mojo, shout out to Mojo, shout out to Desi, shout out to uh, Country Wayne. Uh, all I'd say is that please study the art of acting. Okay. Study the art of. Uh, it may not even matter because they they get numbers. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One On One. Yeah, we gonna talk. I'm just gonna say, love the Facebook. internet has taken over when it comes down to comedians coming up, getting on the grind. They don't go to a lot of these old places where y'all used to go in these old buildings and do y'all set up and and, they, and y'all get y'all y'all respect that way. Yeah. Now they can do like my boy uh, Desi Banks, Country Wayne. Yes. They shout can, out they to can, them. So so they they come in a different way. Mm-hmm. Like like shout when it comes to down to these two different things. When I came into this game, I started to see that. There was a schism. There was a split to where some would say, hey, they didn't come in the right way. Some would say, no, wait, a minute, like wait a minute. Some mm-hmm. would say, hey, you know, these guys, you know what I'm saying? They good. Like Mike, I see him rocking with Desi a lot and Bubba Dub. That's my boy. You know, I'm just saying, like, like, how do you feel when it comes down to the old uh, traditional way that the comedians came into the game versus the way they do now and the money they make? Because they make some money. You see it. They're, they're amazing. Uh, I think uh, Mojo, Mojo, shout out to Mojo. Shout out to Desi. Shout out to uh, Country Wayne. Uh, all I'd say is that please study the art of acting. Okay. Study the art of. Uh, it may not even matter because they they get numbers. They do. And, and and they have an audience that they're entertaining, and I respect that. And I respect the fact that they're doing their things. The thing is, is that like I just always wanted to be on screen with Denzel and and Eddie and and Martin and and and. and um, these guys are were just, just actors, you know what I mean? Just uh, high-level actors, and now you have to do other things. But, you know, with the uh, technology that's going on, it's almost like saying, Charlie Chaplin, how do you feel about an actor that talks? You know, you got the new wave coming in. Charlie was amazing. But you got talkies now, they call it talkies. So the internet comedians, are they're the new version of the talkies. Of, of, of technology so if you can't cross over with the talkies then you know the moment uh <laughs> it's kind of it's not funny but it's kind of sad at the same time but the moment charlie chaplin they heard his voice they didn't like it wow and it messed his career up and he stayed in the time of silent films so i i try to always um embrace the new uh stay classic stay amazing because that's timeless and once you can be timeless, that means you can, can your spirit can go in any form of structure. I don't know how y'all gonna cut this up. It's all good. I don't even know how y'all gonna cut this up. Y'all gonna be like Brandon. See, they, they, put, they put headlines on the internet. Brandon no. Jackson's shirt is off and he hates Cat Williams. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm gonna say that. No, I just wanna, I really wanna understand like, because the what do different. you say to them? Like, you know that you came from a no, different, told, you come you from Nosca. What do you say to those yo, youngsters when, no, you, do, you, when say, you run I into say, them? I say study, 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 study You do tell them that. No, no, I know. I, well, I, I, I've only ran into Mojo. Okay. And, and I encourage them uh, to uh, study film. And that's it. That's it. Okay. Because they all want to get. Here's the scam of it. I'm on the internet. And I'm blah, 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 blah. But then they all want to get in film. That's real. Now now you're going to sit down for three months. You're trying to do your sketches. Now you got to do your sketches at a hotel room or, or your apartment or your, your thing, condo, while you're doing a film and learn all these lines. See, I write, produce, direct, all that stuff. I do all of it because Ben Stiller's my mentor. That's my boy. Yeah. I was going to ask you about it. Ben him. Stiller's my mentor. So I'm, I'm about, you know, I'm about the, the, you know, the white boys going in, typing while we in the club. They, they type in movies while we in the damn club. Wow. That's the shit I like. Excuse my language, but that's the shit I like. When we in the club, they, they're like, hey, bro, what are you? They're listening to everybody and typing movies. Wow. While popping bottles. Hard. You know what I mean? They're making money like, okay, you go, Seth Rogen, all these guys, they're just having the best time ever. Feeling the culture while they're writing films for Paramount. Wow. That's what I'm used to. That's whole. That's, when, my, that's the class I come from. I love but it. But when things and times has changed so much where like, I remember growing up back in the days, you didn't have Tubi. You didn't have people making their own film. You didn't have, it was like such like unattainable unattainable to just a regular Joe. It's like you had to go to acting class. You had to go get, um, a certain you had to go through certain things to get to where you are. Yeah. Now it's become a thing where it, okay, you want to be in a movie. Okay, let's go. I got some cameras. I got this and that. Let me film this and mm-hmm. then p- pitch this to to be or whoever and get my movie out. Well, I, I believe that reaches the glass ceiling 
because at a certain time we start laughing at it and then we we want to see better. Faison said that you heard what he said. I can show you a Tubi movie right here. And he just showed you, oh man, he died this. And he showed me pretty mm -hmm. much how every uh, like low budget Tubi movie that hadn't been thought out through you know, thoroughly mm -hmm. is being pushed out there. Shout out to Tubi movies. Uh, <laughs> Are from you this, too good? I, you from the Tubi world? Well, I'm from Detroit, so you pushing Tubi out there. You 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 pushing? No, I support young filmmakers that's, okay. that's trying to do their thing. Oh, okay, because they all from my city. By the way, we the number one uh, city that's putting out these movies. That really? Y'all saying? Yeah, sorry. Wow. But we well, when you did uh, Envy. You was a kid. You was that was I did envy when I was like sixteen. That's right. Mm -hmm. So that was a time where, when you think about it, and you go back to that place versus doing something now. How would you go in and illustrate? Because you wasn't producing back then, of course. But mm -hmm. how would you go in today? How do you set it up? As far as when I see well, your tube, it, when I see your tube film versus, uh, you know, one of them ones that. You know my boy in right there. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Coop. You Shout know what I'm whoa, whoa. <laughs> what, what we got to do? We got to give the filmmakers time to learn how to make great films. They, okay. they, they, it's drug dealing turn into to movies. You take your drug money and you put it into films. And and you can't down anybody because they didn't go to film school. They just trying to make that money for their money. family. Yeah. You heard you made a million dollars over here, a million dollars over here. Excuse me, over Tubi. Uh, of course I'm going to. You know, try. If I know I can make a way, that's one thing about I love about our people. We will make a way out of no way. We be like, look, I got these cameras. I'm going to set it up and we're going to do the best we can. We're going to just get better as we go. The problem is, is that once it gets time to, uh, uh, when it gets down to the thing and they didn't expect for Tubi to be branded the way it is, because the way it is, is like the black network. Mm hmm. Not even a black network. It's not even BET. It's like the the worst black network. Because it used to feel like it was all these bootleg movies I used to always see on Tubi. I used to hate and they watching made Tubi. billions of dollars. They made money, didn't Fox ain't going to get why? it if it ain't making money. They, listen, they made billions of dollars. And now that they have the billions of dollars, they're going to do a, a rock star, big names, whatever. But we still built them. That's Just like real. when Martin wasn't nothing. It's like when Living Color wasn't nothing. All these things was just some independent, oh, who's Keenan Ivy Wayne's? Oh, blah, 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 he's Eddie Murphy's friend. And now they became one of the hottest shows ever. It's the same thing, different time, different structures. So I love that our people made a billion dollars with Tubi, but now you have to move, now we're evolving. Mm -hmm. And Tubi, and I'm not here to speak for the network because I, I have a deal with them. I would say this, that I know something that w the quality and standards had to come up anyway. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.